So here is another problem uh, where we need to find the magnitude of the kinetic friction force in the setup shown over here. So let me simplify it a little bit into all the diagrams. So this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. Okay, so we have the uh, object on which there is a force of the push directed like this, 30 degrees below the horizontal. All right, and um, the mass of this uh, system is 45 kilograms. So the coefficient of the kinetic friction is 0 0.07. And we need to find the uh, kinetic friction force. Okay, so another uh, other forces which act on the systems are the force of the gravity and the normal force. Okay, and there is also okay, the force of the kinetic friction, of course. So we know that the force of the kinetic friction is given by the coefficient of the kinetic friction times the normal force. Okay, so what we need to find now is the, is the normal force. To find the normal force, as I always tell you, you have to consider the Newton's second law, and in this case, the normal force contributes into the Newton's second law of for the x component, now for the y component uh, of the net force, right? So, in other words, the mass of this system times acceleration in the y direction is given by the net force in the y direction. There is no acceleration in the y direction, there is no motion in the y direction, so this is zero. And this is why the net force in the y direction is zero. So what are the contributions to the net force in the y direction? Well, there are three contributions to that. So there is a positive contribution from the normal force. There is negative contribution from the force of the gravity, so minus m times g. And there is also negative contribution from the force of the push, so f push. So and we need to find the uh, y component of the force of the push. So it is, as I said, negative. It is its magnitude of this force of the push times, so we are looking for the y component, so this part, it is opposite side to this angle of 30 degrees, so this is why we have to use the sine of 30 degrees. And in this sum it is zero, so from here we can find the normal force, it will be m times g plus f push times sine of this 30 degrees. Now we can substitute the numbers, so uh, it will be 45 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second square plus 337 newtons times one half. So now we can use our calculator to compute the normal force. 45 times 9.8 plus 337 divided by Two, it is 609.5 newtons. So now we can uh, use this uh, result for the normal force and compute the force of the kinetic friction. So it is mu k times n and substituting these numbers we will obtain so 0 0.07 times 609.5 newtons. So we have to multiply the result we obtained before by 0 0.07. And we will obtain 42.7 newtons. Or the answer is A.